Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are taking a look at an app I have wanted to do a review on for a long time. The app is really cool and it offers something new which is amazing. So when they reached out and offered to sponsor one of my videos I was really excited. Now let's jump into a fine uh, and look at how this app works. First of all, it is an open source uh, app and it can store all of your files locally. Now let's look at the organization inside of the app, which is quite simple. You have pages with sub pages underneath them. Uh, you also have databases and they have two different views. You have Kanban view and table view. I only use this to uh, track my tasks and that is because they don't have linked databases yet but they also have collections which are basically smart folders now let's take a look at one of my collections this uh, is the author collection and we can actually add rules to our collections in order to um, automatically store different things so I could uh, add tags for example uh, has uh, contains one of and I could uh, choose resources for example and it will show me all of my resources that's what I've done inside of here and I have the same for apps I have the same for projects other authors personal social media so it is basically smart folders that allow you to easily organize inside of the app. Now let's ju jump back into my home. Inside of here we have uh, backlinks as well, which is something I know a lot of people like. You can easily press the at button and you can backlink and you can jump into your backlinks. It is quite uh, simple to do, just like many other apps have, but none of these features are revolutionary. There are, they are basic features which a lot of note-taking apps and productivity apps out there offer. But this app has something really special, uh, which I am going to show you now. Let's say I wanted to do... Uh, blog post or a YouTube video or you wanted to write an essay or uh, a report and you wanted to do it quite visually. So let's say I wanted to do a blog post on how good is a fine and I could change this into a whiteboard mode and we are just going to zoom out a little bit like this. Uh, you can easily get back to 100 by just pressing this. Uh, and I wanted to add a couple of notes here. So one of the things I want to touch on is uh, organization inside of a fine. So I want to do something about organization. Uh, there are a couple of ways you could use this whiteboard. I could go in and I could just start writing here or I could add a frame like this and call this frame organization inside of a fine. Organization inside of a fine. And I could go in and add different notes here and when I move the frame you can see that everything moves with it. Uh, so just to give you an example, I will uh, go on and start writing here. And uh, if you are wondering how I got the uh, heading right here, this uses Markdown, which is familiar to a lot of note takers. But you can also format it by going into this toolbar here, marking it and using this toolbar right here to format your text. But I am quite used to using uh, Markdown, so I prefer that. It is a lot faster in every app. Now I want to write a little bit about the organization. So as I touched on, we have backlinks, we have um, smart folders, which are collections, so smart folders, 
and uh, we can call this collections and we have uh what else do we have we have uh, uh, pages and sub pages and sub pages and we have tags as well so that's how I would uh, use a whiteboard and whiteboards will probably be used differently from person to person uh, but I like to use whiteboards like this uh, I will remove that one because I will probably not add multiple different notes in here uh, you can connect different notes together. So if I wanted to do something about uh, something about backlinks, we will do a header one and we will call this backlinks and we can start to write about backlinks, about backlinks like this. And you could easily connect them using a connector. Uh, and you can also draw inside of this. The difference here is that when I draw and I go in and I move this, the drawing won't follow, but the connector will. So I will remove this. I probably will do a lot of drawing when I work in design. So my uh, daily uh, job, my nine to five job, or when I'm working in my clothing brand, I will probably draw a bit more. But uh, when I am working inside of uh, my social media, blog posts, YouTube videos and so on, I probably won't. The same goes for images. Uh, I wouldn't probably store too many images, but I will do one for this video. Um, just to show you how this works, uh, I will add a picture right here. So let's do one screenshot I took a long time ago. Um, and I will add this here and I could add a frame on top. Uh, you can do different sizes or you can do a custom size, which I am doing right now. And we will call this thumbnail ideas and I could add different thumbnails right here uh, and have them inside of a frame which is really cool. Again, this isn't necessarily uh, revolutionary. It is really good. But if we jump back in here, you can see that the things I store, the things I uh, write inside of my whiteboard actually appears in my page. So I could write my whole uh, uh, script or blog post inside of the whiteboard because I like to see it visually and how things are connected together. And then I could go in here and I could make some small changes if I wanted to, uh, because they will change inside of both. The whiteboard is interactive with the page. So I could go in and I could add a title here as well. Let's add a title. Let's actually do this in purple uh, and just add it right here by double clicking. And we could call this a fine video ideas or a fine blog post ideas blog post blog post ideas it wouldn't be one of my videos if i spelled everything right they also have a bunch of templates here so you have marketing templates you have project management brainstorming presentation uh pause and pals this is really fun <laughs> to add uh inside of your different whiteboards just uh, a fun little feature there i love a beautiful cat or a dog you can add shapes as well uh, and i could add a shape like this and i could make it a custom size again not something i use a lot uh, probably more for design work than for my youtube videos but you could customize this the way that you wanted to uh, and you can go in and you can change different things about the shape, which is, again, really, really cool. Uh, I could hide my YouTube thumbnail here, or I could just add it right here, and I could start writing inside of the shape if I wanted to have a post-it note inside of my whiteboard. 
So that is some of the features that Affine uh, offers uh, and they are really, really cool features. The best part is the fact that you can work inside of a whiteboard and it will appear inside of here as well. So you can easily go back and forward between your brainstorming and your actual writing of a report, essay, or uh, in my case, blog post, YouTube video or even design documentation, which I do a lot of. Uh, I have a code down below so you can test out the pro plan for free. It expires in April, so if you're watching this before April, knock yourself out, try out the app, have fun with it and see whether or not it fits in your work flow and remember that it is really early days for an app like Affine. Uh, it is quite recent but they are developing it quite fast and it works quite nicely as well. They have a great community uh, uh, inside of Discord which I have been a part of for a couple of weeks and just in general a great team. So I'm really excited to see how this app develops but I wanted to do one last thing before I actually uh, before I actually end this video and that's to talk a little bit about the pricing of the app. So they have a couple of different um, pricing plans. Actually right now they only have two but more are coming soon. So with the free plan you get unlimited local workspaces and if you see at the left corner here you can see that this uh, workspace right here is connected to the cloud but I could choose to have a local workspace as well. You get unlimited login devices, unlimited blocks, 100 gigabytes of cloud storage, 10 megabytes of maximum file size and three uh, people per workspace, three members per workspace. With the pro plan, which costs $6.75 yearly or $7.99 monthly, which is a good price considering what a lot of the other new note-taking apps are charging for their product, you get uh, unlimited uh, local workspaces, login device and blocks, but you get 100 megabytes of cloud storage, 100 megabytes of maximum file size and 10 members per workspace. So this is probably better if you have many people you want inside of the workspace or you want to upload a lot of files. Uh, I tend to do that, especially for design works. I tend to have a lot of huge files inside of here or at least bigger files inside of here and a lot of them. So I would probably go for this just so that I would be able to get all of my uh, get all of uh, my files inside of here and all of the pictures and PDFs I wanted inside of here. But you can get far with the free plan and it is uh, enough to actually get you started and see whether or not you like the app. But I have a code down below if you wanted to try out the pro plan. As I said, you can have local uh, workspaces and you can have workspaces in the cloud and they have um, they have a uh, light mode as well. And the last thing I just wanted to say is that uh, this app doesn't have a mobile app yet. I believe that it will come someday because no productivity app can go on without having a mobile app. However, the web app as well as the uh, desktop app are both really, really good. and they work great for writing essays, for doing blog posts and for getting everything visually. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you again quite soon.